I've got to see the temperatures now. Uh, let's say low 80s to mid 80s. We're not going to be as warm as yesterday. Now, the average time here is mid 80s, 85. Yesterday, 94 degrees. Not quite a record. The old record, 1990, uh, or 1943, said uh, mid 90 degrees. We're not going to fight that. Uh, so we didn't quite beat that. But, uh, we do have more 90s, the low to mid 90s of the forecast for tomorrow, but not for today. So for right now, and today we're talking about cloud cover. It's one of the main stories for today because that has helped us slow down the production or the evolution, the uh, spawning of uh, showers and thunderstorms in the forecast area. West winds at six miles an hour, despite the fact the clouds are in place, despite the fact they have a ton of moisture in the atmosphere, 71 degree dew points, we are still in the low 80s. And that gives you an indication of just how warm the air mass has been across East Tennessee. We'll continue to see this temperature soar and eventually climb into the mid to upper 80s for today for a high temperature. And dew points will climb into the lower 70s. As of right now, Skywatch and Radar picking up on a few shallow spots in the winter of 40 degrees in Southeast Kentucky. East Tennessee pretty quiet and pretty dry right now. So again, if you're out going, we're heading there, we're planning to head that way in the next few minutes. We should be fine for at least uh, a couple of hours, but you're going to have chances to shout in thunder from the room. Yes. Heading into this evening. So around the region, thunder from risk is best to our west and northwest. That's what areas in Middle Tennessee, Nashville, all over that, Lexington, Kentucky, and off to the west northwest from there. As far as tomorrow is concerned, the threat comes in late in the evening, heading into overnight hours, heading toward northeast Tennessee, southwest Virginia, and southeast Kentucky. And then by Friday, the threat is dissipated into the north south. Let's get a look at the future cast quickly and get you an idea of what we're looking at for today. I do think the future cast is struggling with the opportunity for popular showers and scattered thunderstorms for today, likely building by late afternoon, heading to evening. But this is the general spirit of things, trying to bubble those up. Now, of course, the evening we're holding under this that chance is still in East Tennessee. And it's one of those things where you look at it and you say, well, what are the primary risks? Well, the main factors we're going to see, and probably the most likely thing you're going to see if you see one of these thunderstorms bubble up in your backyard, is the fact that heavy rainfall will certainly be one of those things that is probably a given with a lot of these storms. And that's just because there is a ton of moisture across the area in the region. Now, as far as lightning, I'll just call the next threat. You're going to see that probably more common. Uh, and more common feature that uh, that wind that could be strong and actually pockets or on the small scale that could even evolve into some large tail and some of the strongest stuff as a possibility. There's a chance that not be wide open for that. There's a chance as far as tonight heading into your Thursday morning, we hold on to a chance for a few minutes of showers over the rebels in the overnight hours. And then by Thursday afternoon, when it's heading into the evening, I think you can see a few pot of spotty showers and showers are trying to do the answer. I'll do one more five minutes, then I'll uh, do something. Huh? Yeah. 
145. Well, that was before I added everything. to support the historic landmark on our website, WBIR.com. And don't miss tomorrow, we're going to be doing our Throwback Thursday segment, and you can also guess on Facebook starting at 11, and then we'll take the answer on the show. Sounds good. We'll be back with the weather with Carrie and Bella. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. He's zonked.
Questions? 